so yeah for for the essay my early tapers revise and understand i know everything in the a-level biology <laughs> oh, like i'm talking about this that's so easy man. youtube what it do it's your waste <laughs> Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can get an A star in A level biology. So, first of all, right, we all know that A level biology, there's a lot of content that we have to cover, right? Like, hella, hella content, bro. Lampuso is one of the, it's one of the, like, it's one of the A level subjects with the highest amount of content that we have to learn. Like the the so much content bro and the mark schemes, oh my god. Like we already know that the mark schemes are, are really specific in nature. Like even if you write down the correct answer, you may still get zero marks only because you missed out a word or two, right? So in terms of get get an A star in A level biology, it's all about first of all understanding the content. And also making sure that your your answers that you write down they contain uh, specific words that are also in the mark scheme, so that you get all of the marks right. So I'm gonna be giving you guys three to four tips on how you can get an A star in A level biology. Alright. So tip number one, obviously I got my my notes right here. Tip number one in getting an A star in A level biology, you have to understand the content. Now, th this is obviously you guys might think that this is a cliche tip, like it's a simple tip. But with biology, it's very, it's very, very important because in biology, especially in A levels, because AS, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, AS biology is easy. It's easy, I told you. It's easy. AS biology, if you're finding that difficult, just wait till A level, A2, bro. Because AS biology is easy, G. So, so yeah, tip number, tip number one was make sure that you're understanding the content. And I say this because in biology, there's a lot of application that you have to do, especially in year two of biology. Like the, the kind of questions they be asking you in AT biology. <laughs> oh my god, that's hella application bro. So you have to make sure like with biology it's not just it's not the case of just memorizing answers and write them down. Like with biology you have to actually understand the content and then apply them to scenarios that they'll give you. Like obviously you're gonna get the, the one markers that are like state define ATP or what are the two stages in photosynthesis but with like the three markers the four markers even the six markers it's all about application bro so you have to make sure that you're understanding content and make sure that you're yeah make sure that you can understand the content fully so that you're so that you're able to attack attack those application uh, questions all right so what I did, what I did to understand the content was after class. Let's say we we're doing um, proteins in biological molecules, right? After class, right? I would make okay. Obviously, in class, I'd make notes, right? But then after class, I would go to the library. I would look up the specification, the A-level biology AQA specification on on the internet, right? Then I'd literally go through every spec point on biological molecules I make sure that I had that in my notes and if I didn't have that in my notes then I, I would either go to my teachers and ask them to explain this quick or I literally search up biological molecules on YouTube and go through the whole topic making notes make, making extra notes on anything that I messed up with biology you can't leave anything to turn you have to make sure that you understand the whole specification Cause, Cause they can ask you anything bro They can ask you anything So you have to make sure you understand everything And yeah So literally I'll just go through the whole specification 
because that contains all of the knowledge that you need for A-level biology. That contains everything. So you go through the whole specification. Um, what I did, I would make flash codes on the specification. So I literally make flash codes on, on definitions that, that are in the specification. But that way, I already know that if the, if the, if the, let's say a question comes up on define, define carbohydrates or something like that, the specification has the must scheme answer. So I'll make flash codes on the specification. And yeah, that's the number one. Make sure you understand the content, bro. You have to understand it. Alright? To number two. So, as I said before, right? Mask schemes are very, the very uh, specific, right? So, why I did you come to this was, obviously, you, obviously, you can't miss out a word or two about your game name marks. So, why I did to come to this right, uh, word, right? I basically, so after the topic, right? After we covered the whole topic, not just a subtopic, but the whole topic, I would do design questions on the topic. I'll do I'll do exam questions. I I actually had um a bank of like all of the past exam questions ever ever put into an exam paper by AQA. Like I literally have all of the past exam questions uh, from AQA since 2014. All the way up to 2021, because I signed my A level in 2022. So I literally had all of the exam questions uh, from 2014 to 2021. And after every topic that I did, I would do all of the exam questions on that topic and, and put them into my flashcards. Because there's only so much they can ask you with biology, but right? they can't ask you something new each year. So as I did the exam questions, I would put them into my flashcards, so that way I I always have the masking answer. I would I literally so on the front of the flashcard, I will write down the question along with how many marks the question was. So let's say the question was the let's say the exam question was describe the the light dependent reaction of photosynthesis. On the front of my flashcard, I would put describe the the process of the light dependent uh, reaction of photosynthesis. Then on the back of the flash code, I literally write down the masking answer. I literally write down the masking answer. And that way, um, that way, I, when when it came to to studying and revising, I was always revising the masking answer. So it's impossible for me to lose. More than more than one mark on a five marker because I already knew most of the lines on the mark scheme. So yeah, do exam questions and incorporate them into your flashcards. Make flashcards on exam questions that you've done along with their mark schemes, and you should be good, bro. You should be good. If you want the the full bank of exam questions, by the way, by the way, I have them for every subject, even economics and history. If you want the full bank of exam questions from 2014 all the way up to 2021, uh, DM me on Instagram at BestelCamini underscore and I'll send them to you, you know what I'm saying? At a price, obviously. Gotta monetize that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, that was tip number two. Do exam questions and incorporate them into your flat codes, all right? Tip number three. So in biology, well not really in, in year 12, but in year 13, you'll see that practical skills are very, very important. So what I mean by this is that you have to know all of the required practicals. So there's eight, you cover four in year 12 and four in year 13. And AQA likes to ask a lot of questions on practicals. Like make sure you're actually paying attention to when the teacher is teaching you practicals because AQA loves to ask questions on, on required practicals. So make sure that um, you're understanding and you're paying attention in class when the te when you're doing uh, required practicals. Like really understand the method that you're doing and understand the safety precautions that you're also doing. 
because AQA likes to ask a lot, a lot of questions on the so, so yeah I understand them in class and also go over them in your spare time watch YouTube videos and we try practicals because I can't like sometimes teachers be like forgetting stuff so watch YouTube vid watch YouTube videos on required practicals and also use the specification as I said before to know to to know exactly everything they have to know for the required practical and yeah that was tip number three Requ uh, required practicals are important make sure you go um, over all of them and yeah G. tip number four. This is the last tip, client. So, in A level biology paper three, you have um, a, a twenty-five marker, twenty-five marker essay. So you have to write right a twenty-five marker essay, yeah. And basically, my advice for the essay is simply: so the essay targets both your depth and breadth in subject knowledge. So to do well in the essay, to get at least 20, 20, 20 out of 25, you have to make sure that your subject knowledge is top tier. Is top tier. Like it has to be up here, G. It has to be up here. So you have to make sure that you're, you understand the whole spec of A-level biology. Not everything. Not everything. Because the essay, it, it analyzes how well your, your, subject, your subject knowledge is. So yeah, for, for the essay, my early tip is revise and understand and know everything in the A-level biology. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about this, that's so easy, man. But yeah, you have to understand the whole biology, biology if you want to do well in the essay, G. Because right? the essay, it targets both, as I said before, your depth and your breadth in subject knowledge. You have to make sure that when you're writing the essay, you're targeting as many areas of the specification as possible in order to get in order to get at least 20 out of 25 and yeah those were my tips for for a level biology a level biology is mostly application to be honest so if you want to do well it's all about understanding the content and doing and doing um exam questions I like i would say i don't know my videos to you if you grind you succeed if you do nothing you stay the same G alright let's kill it